Hi guys, I'm glad you've been enjoying these What We Ate videos. I thought I would do another one for you over the next couple of weeks. Um, today is Trevor's birthday, but sadly he's had to work. And I said to him I'd make him anything he wanted and he asked for carbonara. So that's what I'm making. I bought some um, tagliatelle there. I've got, it's pretty much Nigella Lawson's recipe, but I do two um eggs plus two yolks and then I've got some vermouth I'm also adding mushrooms pancetta and parmesan to start with you fry up the pancetta and the mushrooms so I fried those off so the vermouth has disappeared and I've added some black pepper I'm adding a little bit of the liquid out of the pan with the pasta just to kind of deglaze it really and loosen it off a bit and I've just added the eggs to 60 ml of cream and whisk that up and I'm adding now the parmesan into there. And then you take the pancetta off the heat and I'm going to add to it this egg and cream mixture. It's important to take it off the heat because you don't want to get scrambled eggs. My pan was a little bit too full to dump all of the tagliatelle in it so I plated it up and poured the sauce over the top. Tonight I'm cooking chicken satay so I've just diced up a chicken breast. I've got two tomatoes also diced up, a courgette, this is quite finely sliced and then in half and I've got a little bit of a black pepper it actually turns out it's green inside that black pepper and then on the boil I've got some whole wheat noodles and some carrots there's about half a carrot in there not loads but they again are quite thinly sliced and I'm just going to make the satay sauce this does seem to change every time that I make it but the main base of it is the peanut butter and um, smooth is usually better because obviously you've got the crunchy bits if you if you have the crunchy one but go with whatever you've got it's a very flexible recipe um, whole ground whole ground pepper this is white ground pepper a splash of lime juice a couple of tablespoons of sesame oil a splash of soy sauce and i'm also going to put some coriander in it i would usually go with lemongrass curry leaves work well as well then you just mix all of those ingredients up into a paste if it's very thick you can add a little bit of water and if you do have um fish sauce a splash of fish fish sauce in this also is quite tasty I've added some water to that and it's all mixed up now. You can kind of see the consistency of it's pourable. And I'm going to add that into the chicken and the vegetables, which I've got in a pan. And then you just add the chicken in the satay sauce on top of your noodles and carrots. And to finish the dish off, I'm just snipping some chives onto the top. Tonight for dinner I'm doing a bolognese type pasta sauce. I've got loads of tomatoes from the greenhouse, there's a few different varieties there and I've just chopped them all up. I just made some beetroot soup that had some thyme in it but thyme will go nice in this sauce as well so it doesn't matter if that goes in with the tomatoes. I've got half a red onion and then I've got some pork mince and beef mince which is kind of mixed in here but that does need to defrost so I'm going to defrost that first. I'm also adding a red pepper, a little bit of chilli and a carrot into the bolognese. I've also added some red wine into there and now I'm just going to let it boil off a lot of the liquid. Because there's so many of those tomatoes in there and they hadn't been roasted or anything previously, there is a lot of liquid in it so it just needs a while to simmer away. And this is the spaghetti bolognese all plated up and ready to go. Tonight I'm making a lentil curry with sweet potato, so I'm just um, grinding up some spices. I've got a couple of cardamom pods in there, and then I'm mainly using this Panch Foran mix, which has kind of got a mix of mustard seeds in it, and um, what else is in there? There's some coriander seeds, fennel seeds as well, I think. I'm not entirely sure. It's a nice mix, though. I've also got these cumin seeds which kind of need using up so I'm going to put all of those in and then I've got a bit of ground turmeric and I'm going to put um, curry leaves in I'm not going to put those in the pestle and mortar I'm not using that chilli so I'm just going to grind the spices a little bit and then dry fry them in the pan and now they're lightly toasted in the pan I'm just going to set them aside and fry some onions in a splash of oil and then you can add the spices back in and I'm also adding a jar of passata along with two of water that's my standard mix for a lot of grist dishes and then I'm also adding the garlic and the turmeric and curry leaves 
And finally, I'll add three diced sweet potatoes and a couple of handfuls of red lentils and just leave it to simmer then for about half an hour. So the curry is ready to go now. It's nice and thick. You can serve it with rice or a naan if you like. Tonight we're having baked salmon. I'm doing it on a bed of tomatoes. I've got so many tomatoes from the allotment at the moment, which I'm really happy about. And I've got a little bit of courgette. There's only about half a courgette there. Um, so I've just quartered it to make it go a little bit further. I'm gonna put all of these into this glass bowl with a little bit of Italian herb and then put the salmon on it. And I'm gonna serve this over some cabbage. This is a sweetheart cabbage. It's really nice and crispy. I'm not gonna cook it though, because the juices that come out of the tomatoes mostly, but there'll be a bit that come out of the salmon, it's gonna be really hot and it's, I'm gonna serve it on top of that. It'll stay crunchy, but it'll make it, um, give it some flavor. I, I don't like it cooked. So this is the baked salmon. I've just left the cabbage that's underneath raw because there's kind of a lot of liquid in the tomatoes. It softens the cabbage up, but I do like it quite crispy. If, if you're not so keen on that, just need to give it a bit of a steam before you go for it. Then in with the onions, I've added a jar of passata and two more of water. And 